Hi, I'm Kristen Burt, and it's the day before the SAG Awards, and we're unrolling the red carpet. In this year, where the hot topic is women in the industry, yes. diversity in the industry, yes. yeah, great yes. stuff. Yes. You work for the woman that's already doing I it. No, it's really, it's really great because these big conversations are happening now, which I think are very, very important. And I, I live in a world where that conversation already hap like it doesn't even happen because it just is. You know, like females and diversity is just what my everyday looks like and it's awesome and I've been very fortunate to work in a world like that for five years and so um, I'm really looking forward to a time when that's the case throughout the industry. What have you learned from working with Shonda Rhimes? It's more of the question, what have I not learned from working with Shonda Rhimes? I mean, basically, women can do it all. Women work together. I see women working together every single day. I get to work, you know, she's just, and she's genius, and she's smart, and she's kind, and she's compassionate. I mean, she changed my life. Like, she gave me the role, so... I owe, I mean, she is my everything, um, but, and she's also kind, do you know what I mean? Like she's, she's tough and she's strong and she's grounded, but she's also incredibly kind and generous. And I think that that, that she's a, a wonderful combination of a lot of things and um, it's why she's so successful. Now you've reached a level of success because of Scandal, which is incredible. What would you tell your younger self when you're coming up in the industry? I would tell my younger self, stop worrying so much. My God, because when I was in my early 20s, I was worry, 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 worry. I was a waitress and a babysitter and a caterer and all these things. And I just used to worry about ever getting an opportunity. And I think I probably didn't have as much fun as I should have. That's a good point. Always have fun. Yes. How did you get your SAG card? Oh, I got my SAG card by doing commercials in New York City. I think it was for birth control. <laughs> Is I'm it out there? Say it was for birth control, and I remember them saying, "Okay, like if you want to shoot this commercial tomorrow, you have to pay your one thousand four hundred and forty dollars, or the SAG police are going to come and like escort you off because you didn't pay your dues." And I had to call my parents, like hysterical, crying, and get it on loan. And I paid them back after I shot the commercial. But um, that's my fabulous getting your SAG car. And si since then, that's like eons ago that it was a thousand dollars. It is not now. But it's a great union to be a part of. It sure is. I know. I was just telling him, I think I paid under 1000 to get oh into after. My God. Oh, yeah. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Very long time ago. Oh, yeah. Okay. I I'm a little late to the scandal party. Okay. I am binge watching it. I'm season two, episode Thank eight you. right now. Oh, wow. You haven't even seen what Quinn is now. No. I it's nothing like what you know. I know. And so it's really interesting. You know, I've been in the Shonda Rhimes world with other shows, but this one I just finally d dove into. What show do you binge watch? I binge watch... Game of Thrones, I binge watch Homeland, Orange is the New Black, Transparent, Grey's Anatomy, The Bachelor. And The Bachelor. It, that's awesome. <laughs> Have you watched Unreal? Because now that I watch... I've heard this. I've seen... Um, I, You know, I'm friends with Sherry Appleby and Constance Zimmer, and I've been big fans of theirs for a long time. And I haven't sat down to watch it yet, but I've heard of people who love reality TV. And, like, I don't love all reality. I just love The Bachelor. But people who love The Bachelor in specific would love Unreal. I need to watch it. It's to die for. Um, one final question. You're the SAG Awards... Media Ambassador. Yes. What is your social media strategy tomorrow? Go big or go home is what it is. Um, it's going to be hitting all platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Periscope, Snapchat, doing live Q&As, doing live videos, um, lots of pictures, and just keeping everybody informed to, like, how I'm actually feeling. Like, I'm really honest on all my things, and I, when I'm nervous, like, I don't want to meet this big actor because I'm scared. Like, I'm going to tweet that, and then I hopefully will get over my fear and meet them and then show you a picture of it. Have to be a fan. Yeah, exactly. We'll have a great time tomorrow. We're looking Thank forward to seeing you. you. So nice to see you, too. Bye. Nice to meet you, Katie. That's a wrap from the red carpet. I'm Kristen Burt. Now, don't forget to subscribe, like us, and if you have any questions about the SAG Awards, let us know what you're doing tomorrow in the comments below.